Hey, what's happening? It's your boy Goldie with Goldie Smell Good, aka the King of Spring, aka Goldie the Glow, aka you better let them know how to look good, feel good, and smell good all day, every day. Coming with a very special video today, guys. Before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, as this does help with your boys' visibility across this platform, you did? Coming at you with a very special video, guys. This is my top 10 beast mode heavy hitters. I'm coming to fill up the room. I want you to smell me on purpose. I always want you to smell the goatee. And I'm really coming with it this time, you dig? All right, starting off. From the House of Azaro, Chrome Extreme. Guys, this is a great beast mode summer fragrance and you can wear it now in the spring, okay? <laughs> it smells good, man. I'm looking forward to wearing it. I haven't been wearing it because in my opinion, it's out of season right now. But on my skin, this is very metallic -y. I get a beast mode, metallically blast. You dig this bad boy blast off my skin. And it doesn't die down, it doesn't dry down, it doesn't go away. It just blasts and blasts, okay? Azaru Chrome Extreme, all right? Next, from the house of my Killian, Angel. Share. I also featured this recently on my date night video. Okay, this one has great longevity, but the good thing about this one, it doesn't necessarily blast, okay? It's not gonna blast. However, this bad boy lasts all day, okay? Great performance, okay? And this is a great sweet Gourmandi style fragrance. Sweet Gourmandi Boozy. Beautiful fragrance, okay? <laughs> Next, the beast of all beasts, man. This is the most beastly fragrance I own, guys. Guys, three sprays, okay? Really two. Have this bad boy touch your shirt. This bad boy touch my jacket. You feel me? And it was on my jacket. I applied it to my skin. It went through my skin, through the shirt, to my jacket. You feel me? <laughs> I had to put my jacket in the cleaners just to get the smell out, guys. You feel me? So basically, this is, I just get oohed. <laughs> it's a great fragrance, man. It's not for beginners, okay? It's not for people that's just getting started out. But it's a great oohed leather fragrance okay i get oud leather that's mostly what i get is oud leather very rich very powerful fragrance guys beast mode forever okay next and from the house of lalik this is lalik but of course you don't know what that is you feel me yeah <laughs> That come from a movie. I say it every time, man. Listen, guys. Powdery. Green. Old school, guys. Okay, I can see the late great Sidney Poitier wearing this. You know, Harry Belafonte, James Bond type guys. This guy is very well put together. Three-piece suit. Maybe a double-breasted suit. It's a well-cut, dark suit. This guy's about his business. He's not about that plan. He's serious, you feel me? And I love it, man. It's a great fragrance. Beastly performance. Only thing about this fragrance to me, it's very situational. Cause I wore this with a linen shirt when I first got it and it wore me. Don't play with that guy, okay? I know the cute thing to say is you can wear whatever you want, whenever you want. That's cool. That's cute. I get it, guys. Sure you can. Your money, your skin, do you. However, if you wear this with a t-shirt or linen, 
or try to dress it down. You may waste your outfit, your day, because you're going to have to go scrub it off and change and start all over again because this bad boy will wear you, man. It will wear you. So wear this dressed up. You can actually even wear this with a polo. Just make sure it's ironed real good. Starts the sleeves, put creases in your sleeves on your polo and just make sure your polo fits size down. You feel me? It just gotta fit. But guys, that's how you can pull this off. But it's got to be a very nice polo, preferably a suit to be honest with you. I put the polo out there, but preferably a suit. Okay, a well cut dark suit guys. It's very green, powdery, beastly, dignified, pure class in a bottle. They don't make them like this no more, guys. I promise you. You know, guys, my guy's 40 and up. You know, I think you'll like this. My guy's under 40. Not to say that you won't like it, but it may not be your cup of tea. There's no sweetness in this. There's nothing playful about this. Ain't nothing cute about this, man. You feel me? This boy here is about business. You feel me? See yeah, man. That's La Leak. And that's the lion head. They got the horse head, but that's the lion head joint. And this is the EDT formulation. You feel me? EDT. Because they do have an EDP. Next, <laughs> from the house of Al Haramain, Amber Oud. Okay, guys. Fruity, sweet, ambery. I love it. A little boozy. Great for a date night, you feel me? See, I hit that little roll, that's how you know. Yeah, when I hit that roll, you feel me? Guys, beast mode. And this is another one. It lasts a long time, but it doesn't blast. There's a difference, okay? It's gonna last forever, but it's not going to blast. I don't get that on my skin, you feel me? But the longevity is forever, I promise you, okay? Now, Al Haramain Amber Oud Rouge. This is a dupe, clone, impersonation, whatever you want to call it, in my opinion, of uh, Baccarat Rouge by Baudi Extract de Parfum to me, okay? It's sickly sweet to me. Honestly, I really don't like it. I'm gonna keep it around. I really don't like it. I actually like the Richless better, which is more of the uh, clone of the Baccarat Rouge, the original formulation, not the extract. This is sickly sweet and it lasts forever, guys. Two sprays, you're done. Don't think this DNA is gone. I promise you, it's still there. This bad boy took about eight hours to dry down on me one time. No cap. Sickly sweet. If you like sweet, you'll love this, man. Check it out. Al Haramain Amber Rouge. Nice. <laughs> One of my newest fragrances, man, from La Tapa. La Tapa Al Badi Amethyst. Beautiful bottle. Guys, what you gonna get with this one? Oud Vanilla. Okay, for the life of this fragrance, I get oud and vanilla at the same time. But guys, it's supposed to be a dupe of, um, what's that, what's that mug? Initio Atomic Rose. In my opinion, I got my nose on an Atomic Rose and Neiman's. This fragrance pales in comparison to Atomic Rose, in my opinion. Why? Atomic Rose does not have any oud. For whatever reason, they chose to put oud in this fragrance. I don't know if that was gonna make it last or if it was gonna give it more longevity or staying power, but I kind of wish they wouldn't have put that oud in there because it's a fragrance in itself because it, it can't be an Atomic Rose with oud and Atomic Rose will have no oud in it. I'm telling you, it, it's a beautiful, sweet, Rose, and I get more of the rose on the atomic rose. I get more of the oud and vanilla 
move on this one. Don't really get the rose, but it's a beast, man. Another example, it's got on my jacket. It's still on there, man. Two, three days later. <laughs> it, the oud is not drying down. It's not going away. It ain't, you know, it ain't easing up on you. You know, none of that. You're gonna live with that oud, man, until it's over with, but it does have some sweetness with it, okay? It's a great fragrance, but I don't think it's a, a clone directly, in my opinion. Next. All right, we got it from the house of Rasasi. <clears throat> Wait a minute. You see the Rasasi on the top. I think this is Rasasi. Mordhoff, okay? Rose, okay? Amber. <laughs> Patchouli, this is a pretty fragrance. That's the best way to describe it. Rose, Amber. Vanilla. Ooh. But the good thing about this one, the oud is actually way in the background. I don't get any oud on this one, okay? But I just get mostly rose, okay? It's a beast mode of performer, obviously, because it's on this list, okay? It smells very similar to Armini Armani Privé Rose DRB. I actually had a sample of that fragrance. It's very similar, but it's a great fragrance, okay? Morhaf, you feel me? Yeah. <laughs> Next, from the house of La Tampa, Oud Mood. <laughs> One of the most unique fragrances, guys, because it's got that incense. I get a lot of it. This is an incense floral fragrance with some sweetness and a little oud, okay? Mostly incense, floral, little sweetness, a little oud, okay? That's what you get on this fragrance right here, okay? Next. A life from me, from the house of Gurlon, Habi Rouge, Oda Toilet, a true masterpiece in my opinion, okay? <laughs> I love it. Beautiful fragrance, guys. Old school style. Lemon, leather, vanilla. Smell like an old phone book. And I love it. Guys, all these fragrances, you could go three to five sprays, okay? Three to five. Believe it or not, on the angel share, you can up it to six or seven, maybe even eight, because again, it doesn't blast. It's just strong with longevity, not projection. Okay, the rest of these guys, three to five sprays, man, really three. You feel me? Three to five sprays. And on these guys, you want to apply these behind you. Don't put them in here. Put it behind your, your ear, lower neck, behind your ear, lower neck, and back. You're done all day. You feel me? Yeah, that's my top beast mode. Heavy hit of fragrance, man. Filling up a room. Letting your presence be known. Stepping in the door. Making them feel you. Straight up, man. Yeah, but thanks for watching. Liking. Commenting. Subscribing, man. You know, the Goldie appreciates that, man. Because the Goldie is going global. I'm going to be putting out more content, and I do appreciate y'all rocking with me straight up, man. All right, guys, but always, uh, and I do mean always, look good, feel good, smell good, stay humble.